Hello everyone, God bless you. Welcome to PTM Missions Report. And I wanted to just speak to you a little bit about uh, what we're doing now for missions and bring you uh, a report from uh, about a month ago that I received from Brother Petros, his missions trip report. So just to let you know, um, even though things are, are obviously different right now due to COVID-19, uh, missions work is still going on. We're just having to use Zoom. Um, every week I'm meeting with uh, believers via Zoom, whether it be the, the pastors and missionaries that are living in Turkey, or whether it be uh, groups of churches doing Bible studies with them and staying in constant connection with them. They're doing much like we are, uh, live streaming their services uh, for the believers in the church and staying in touch with them uh, as much as possible, especially the pastors are doing uh, Zoom services with um, Bible studies with people, getting prayer requests and discussing things and also doing one-on-one -on -one uh, uh, contact with believers there. So continue, please continue to pray and continue to support these ministers working overseas. Um, times are tough. People are, people are losing their jobs and there's difficulties now, but, uh, we, we definitely continue to need your, uh, prayers and you standing with us as we continue to further the message as it goes around the world. Um, so a little bit from Brother Petro's trip report to Turkey. He went uh, the end of January into um, early February. And uh, he went there and he, he um, traveled to several different places while he was there. And the Lord used him in a mighty way um, amongst the Iranian refugees. He's... Uh, he, he's this last trip, he testifies that he noticed that there was denominational churches spending a lot of time trying to discredit the message, and as much as hard as they tried to discredit the message, um, it ended up actually having the opposite effect. It caused believers to uh, dig deeper in the scriptures, ask more questions, and um, it realized the people began to realize what what greater need they had to understand understand and grow in the message of the hour um it's it's amazing to see just how the lord um calling out to people and their hearts responding to the truth that way brother petro says um this was the trip where he had some trouble um there were some weather problems there with lots of snow and cold and um he got stranded in Ankara for 18 hours before he was able to reach his destination traveling from um, Istanbul to uh, to Kayseri. In the middle is Ankara. They had to had to stop there and they, they del delayed him in the airport for 18 hours. It was a very difficult time for him. And uh, as soon as he arrived in Kayseri, he was scheduled to go to Sivas, which they had to drive through the mountains uh, and the snow to get to Sivas to minister there. And he went with Brother Omid there. They had uh, question and answer services with believers there and just tremendous testimony of how um, just reading the message in their own language helped them to understand what God has done and found men the answer to many of their questions just by reading Brother Branham's books. And so that's been that's been tremendous to be able to have those books and distribute them amongst believers there in Turkey. Um, continue to pray for Brother Petros. In, he's, he lives in Germany now and is able to trans travel back and forth to Turkey quite a bit. However, he's obviously, as the rest of us are, are limited in, in uh, travel due to this um, uh, quarantine that's around the world. So just... Pray for them. Pray for Brother Shaheen and Denizli. Pray for Brother uh, Omid in Kayseri. And also pray for believers in, in Iran. Um, there's people that are hungry. Um, some of our brothers are, are making contact with new believers inside of Iran and holding um, 
Bible studies with them uh, over the phone and over over WhatsApp and over uh, Zoom, and so they're having having uh, great results speaking to them about what the message is all about, and the people are really hungry in in Iran. So pray, pray for us, and uh, if you want to continue to support us, we greatly appreciate that. The need is is great. And uh, once again, God bless you.